Hey everyone, Dave here at Byerly RV in Eureka, Missouri. Today, we're gonna take a look at the 2023 Thor Motor Coach Pasadena 38 MX behind me. They call it a Super C, but frankly, it's like, this is beyond a Super C for most of us. We also carry the Omni, which is on the F550 or 600, F600 now, I think. This, oh gosh, you guys, wait. All right, sorry, I'm ready to get started because this is literally one of my favorite motorhomes and you're gonna see why as we go through it. There's gonna be a lot to talk about here, so stick around. These are longer videos, you guys. This video is here specifically on this motorhome. So we are gonna cover a lot, but before we do, I just wanna say thank you very much for watching. If you have, oh, also, that's windy today, guys, sorry, but we got a production schedule to keep, so we're gonna keep going here. Um, really windy, uh, but, um, if you haven't already done so, make sure to check out the rest of our YouTube channel when you're done watching this video. Uh, we do all kinds of stuff. We do instructional videos and we do product videos and fun videos and everything else. Also, you can check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and now on TikTok. You can see Abby on TikTok. She's doing a great job with that. Um, might even get the chance. There might be a little, you gotta, okay. Before I say anything else, you better stick around for the whole end of this video because there's a surprise. Let's just put it that way. There, now you're in for like the next 25 minutes. All right, guys, listen. Let's talk about the Pasadena 38 MX. I'm gonna say one more time, sorry about the wind noise because I know we're gonna get it on this, um, but I'll kind of try to keep my back to it and we'll do our best here. All right, so where are we gonna start? Right up front. This, one of the things that separates this from most C's is the fact that this is on a Freightliner custom chassis. It has a 6.7 liter Cummins with 360 horse and 800 pound feet of torque. This thing is awesome, you guys. 15,000 pounds of tow, uh, 15,000 pound hitch. It's, this thing's amazing. I mean, look at this. Oh my gosh, I love this. Um, also, you know, while we're standing here, you can also see that we've got the 22 and a half inch wheels and tires, guys. This is the same size wheel and tire that you find on buses and stuff like that, okay? Um, but you can't, I mean, the chassis on this is absolutely amazing. You'll see when we go inside, I'll just mention the front seats are air seats, air ride seats. So front and passenger have their own personal air ride. And then this has an air suspension on the rear for load leveling. This is a beast, you guys. Well, look at it. It's a Freightliner. I mean, this is a real truck here. Uh, let's just, we'll go around the outside first and then the inside like we always do. Um, this chassis, you guys, is just everything's like bigger. We've got more storage. That obviously here first, real quick. Outside entertainment center. So TV, sound bar. We like to see sound bars, right? Because what is that? That's the same thing we would do at home if we wanted to have good surround sound and didn't have a whole room to put it in, right? Underneath, this is great. I mean, how often do you see a super C quote unquote with pass through storage, okay? I mean, that's the same type of basement storage we get in class A diesels and stuff, right? Look at that. Um, that is awesome. And then this is all what they call rotocast plastic. These guys, Thor has always done that where um, they cast it into a mold as opposed to heat and bend it. Uh, this is this compartment just has our water tank in it. We've got 100 gallons of fresh water here, guys. 25, 50, 75, 100. Um, we can drain it real easily, but you know, a vehicle like this that can go a lot of places in a big vehicle, we're gonna take a lot of water with us so that we can be self-sufficient. There's a 100 watt solar panel on the roof as well to help keep batteries charged when we're not running the generator. Real quick, one more pass through storage back in the back. Tons of storage. I'd love to say tons of storage. You guys know that. Um, here you go. It, 8,000 watt Onan diesel generator, okay? That's enough power to run both your airs and rent power to the neighbors, you guys. I mean, this is this thing is just incredible. And then more storage back in the back. We've got it on either side. We're gonna go ahead, let's run around the other side here. Uh, there's a ladder on the back, okay? Uh, that is a big ladder. <laughs> uh, beautiful, you know, uh, real quick to you guys. This is a obviously a full paint coach. It is absolutely beautiful and will continue to look beautiful just like this for years and years and years because that's what we get when we buy a full paint coach, right? Um, this is gonna be uh, obviously where my dump tanks are. This is nice. You know what I like about this that I can just see here is it's a nice open compartment. I can keep my sewer hoses and whatever all I want in here in one spot. And my black tank flush is right here too, guys. Um, but that's nice, I like that. There's a little portal here I can just, I can dump out down the bottom really quick. Uh, wow, lots of propane, we got lots of water, we've got lots of propane and lots of diesel fuel on board, guys. This thing can sit uh, for days and you can operate it with everything you have on board. Um, this is where the power cable resides. Um, we've got a power cable plug up here and also I can see that we've got a uh, cable TV in up there as well. Uh, next compartment's our water compartment here. 
uh, with another, uh, wow, look at that. Okay, so there was black and gray tanks back at the back, black and gray tanks right here. So this is a uh, bath and a half. So we do actually have two black tanks for the two bathrooms. I've got a gray tank here for my sink and stuff up front. We call it the galley tank. And then my, I've got another, another gray tank back in the back for the sink and shower in the back. So what do we have here? tons of tank storage <laughs> to go along with tons of water, to go along with tons of storage, to go along with tons of horsepower and tons of torque and tons of everything. This thing is awesome. We still haven't gotten to my favorite part, so stick with me. Um, all right, uh, in here we've got whole house water filtration system. Um, I see my water pump right here. I like that it's easy to get to. I have a little mini manifold system here so that when it's time to sanitize, fill my tank, winterize, city water or dry camp, I know how to configure that based on this little sticker right here. What's the best part of the sticker? Made in the USA, this whole apparatus. That's one of the best things about motorhomes in general, guys, is so much of this stuff. We, I don't know if there's anything else that's much more American made than these things, but um, we'll move on here. There's also, of course, you got hot and cold running water right there. This is the other side of all that wonderful storage. There's our inverter up there. I see a nice Xantrex inverter uh, up on the wall up there. Um, Real clean on the storage, right? This is nice. Oh my goodness gracious. How about some batteries, everybody? <laughs> so here you go. You've got, I mean, you know, this is again, this is so much like a big class A diesel, right? A huge bank of batteries for our house batteries, double batteries for our engine. I mean, this thing is absolutely awesome. Wow. Okay. Let's go to, I, I'd love to like even do the engine again because it's so cool. But anyway, let's go in and let's take a look at the inside of the 38MX. Okay, everyone, before we start on the inside, I just do want to mention that there are things that are model specific when it comes to Pasadena's. So on the 38MX that we're in right now, some of the options that you say, see aren't necessarily available on everything. So um, that's just another reason to check out www.buyerlyrv.com so you can see how each one is ordered and equipped and things like that. Um, and of course you can call in or, or text in or email in and we can answer any questions or anything like that for you. Um, now, one thing that Thor Motor Coach does in almost, and really quick guys, Thor Motor Coach, these guys are the largest manufacturer of motorhomes in the United States of America across all their different lines, okay? So if there's one thing that Thor Motor Coach knows how to do, it's build motorhomes. Um, they do, they've always done a really good job of listening to their clients, incorporating things like that into their new models and things like that. So you're gonna see a lot of stuff in here that makes sense. We saw it outside and we're gonna see it inside too. Um, one of my favorite things that Thor does on almost everything that they can is to do this thing that we call the mud room. And I know it's gonna be a little hard for you guys to see, but what this is, this is a little storage compartment right here that allows me to walk in here and I can take my muddy shoes off and I can literally put them right in there or anything else I might need that I'm gonna use outside. That I, I, It's just perfect. I love the idea of taking shoes off and put them there and not having a pile in front of the door, right? Also on our way in, we have, um, we do have the touch panel screen, uh, touch panel, um, switches all over the place here. So I can turn off my lights and turn them on from right here, all of them at once and things like that. My master, the, the battery disconnect is right here. And then there's also that, um, uh, it does an automatic step. And then the Xantrex, uh, um, that inverter we saw downstairs has a control panel right here. So um, there's also, guys, if there's one thing, you know, outside we saw how much storage there is. And I just point this out here because, you know, this is normally just a padded surface like that over there, but they took and they used literally this six, in, not even six inches of space and built this wonderful miniature pantry right here. I mean, this is just, you know, great. That's, gosh, the Pasadena is just really incredible. This is something that you can really tell that if you wanted to take a really long trip, be self-sufficient, um, and really be out there, uh, the Pasadena can accommodate that. And it does it in style and luxury. Um, beautiful cabinetry in here, guys, all wood. We've got beautiful, real solid surface countertops, an induction cooktop, and LP, okay? So a lot of times, that's that's something that, you know, a lot of times on the big diesel luxury class A's, there isn't even LP at all anymore, you know? And so some of us still like to have that, but it's also nice to have that induction. Above that, we have a residential size microwave that is also a convection oven so I can bake nice hot crispy baked potatoes and I love baking potatoes actually in my convection oven it's cool I just start the potato in there and then I do all the other grilling and everything else and by the time I'm done I have potatoes um, the uh, another thing that they do such a good job of around here you're gonna see it here you're gonna see it in the bedroom and stuff as well is the amount of drawers and doors that are in this thing you know um, and like there's a nice big drawer I like that you know um, oops the uh, this has this multi-function panel right here 
So the entire motorhome is controlled from this panel. So this is my home screen. I can do lights from here. Um, shade open and close. We'll get to that in a minute as we go around the living room here. And then I've got gen controls. Then each one of these buttons gives me, you know guys, it used to be very, very difficult to set the parameters for automatic gen start. Or I had to go through menus and it was just horrible. You did it with a book and everything. Easy, easy, I can do this. I can do this without reading directions. I can do this, right? Lights, and then your front and rear thermostats, and then there's a heat pump, by the way, on both of these, you guys. Um, that, that means that we don't have to use our OP if we don't want to necessarily. Um, slide out controls, awning controls, everything. This is just super nice. If you've never had something, look at all the tanks. <laughs> if you've never had something with one of these uh, touch control panels, it's time to upgrade uh, because these things are absolutely awesome um the fridge wow man this is an lg fridge this is just beautiful um it holds your privacy curtains when they come from the factory no <laughs> but uh it's got the see i like it it's got my ice drawer and my ice cream drawer right if anybody else ever says that that's mine <laughs> um but for real guys i mean it's kind of funny because in if you go back rv fridges man the fridge, the freezers in these things held like a bag of ice if you were lucky. So for those of us that have been doing this for a long time, having a freezer that you can actually put all kinds of stuff in is just awesome. Uh, again, though, it also lends to, okay, we've talked a lot about storage and a lot about tank sizes and everything else, right? Okay, you also don't wanna have to run to the grocery store in the middle of that trip either, do you, right? So you can put enough food in here as well so that you don't have to do that. Um, Another nice TV with sound bar below, exactly what we like. Ooh, I love it when they do this, man. They take that solid surface material and create like this mantle out of it above the fireplace, right? Fireplace, so this can be just a nightlight if you want, or it is a built-in electric space heater that many of us have traveled with for years, right? Um, the half bath is located basically mid-ship right here, and this is really, really nice. Um, the porcelain Foot flush commode is what we prefer, right? The porcelain's nice, it cleans up better. The foot flush means we don't have to touch it. Nice big sink with a nice residential faucet that allows you to get your hands underneath here and actually get them washed without, I mean, some of these things are so, so, so small. Um, and uh, there's even, is that bonus storage? There's even a little bonus storage behind the commode, you guys. There is literally storage everywhere everywhere in this thing. And then right here too, just speaking of storage, we'll hit this storage while we're at it. We've got, so this is where a washer dryer would go, you guys, okay? And it's located here midship across from the bathroom. Um, you can see in this particular unit, we did not order a washer dryer, okay? Um, so it makes incredibly great storage. The reason why we do that here at Byerly, you guys, is we are, have always specialized in service and parts, if, frankly. And so we have things in stock. We can put a washer dryer in like that. You know, when we order something for stock, we're spending your money. We're spending somebody else's money, whoever's gonna buy this thing. And so if somebody didn't want the washer dryer and wanted more storage, okay. They didn't spend an extra $3,000 for something they don't need, as opposed to someone that wants it, no problem. We can put it in. That's one of the best things about Byerly. And then even more pantry space. Look at how, woo, that's deep pantry space, you guys. Um, Gosh, you can never have too much storage, and they really illustrate that with this and the effort they put into to give us all the storage. Really, really nice seats. These are gonna recline, right? Oops. And it's gonna have its little, little storage spot for all of your remotes and stuff like that. We've got a really nice booth dinette. You know, in a vehicle like this, uh, this is our extra sleeping. So we didn't do the couch right, so we have a booth dinette. This is, of course, gonna make into a bed. I've got storage underneath. Um, I've got seat beltable positions actually front and rear on this. And then just to, oh, we also have the uh, latch system on here. So if uh, this is something that we order on all these things, because if you don't get the latch system when you order it, you can't put it in. So if somebody did have a car seat or something like that, they could actually safely use that the way it's meant to be used right here. Um, this huge upper sleeping area um, is obviously kind of one of the might even be one of the reasons why folks buy this type of camper. You know, the, your typical Class C has a bed up here, a Super C. This is like a whole nother room almost up here. This, you can see this beautiful, beautiful window up here, which, you know, you can see the trees. We're starting to get some leaves on the trees and stuff. I've taken vehicles with this to places like the mountains, and you're literally sitting in here and you have this beautiful mountain vista. And then when it's time to go to bed, that's fine. We have a little 
I just hit the button right here and this thing's gonna come down and close. How cool is that? This is also the king of cool on this motorhome. I'm sorry, this, I just, we still haven't gotten to my favorite part. So stick with me. <laughs> oh man, call me silly, but all right. So there we go, we close that, that's great. Now this, and the curtains, look at that. And the other thing is this, this is like hugely tall up here. Most of these things aren't, aren't quite that tall. Now, let's check out this driver's area. I'm just gonna kinda, you know what? I'll pick this up and move it. Make it easier for Mike to see. Real quick too, this says eight, 100 pound maximum capacity for that bed. So uh, that's overbuilt, we'll say. <laughs> we'll take that, right? All right, now watch, all right, ready? Watch this. Right, so this has air ride front seats, front uh, driver and passenger, okay? Uh, so this is how in this big beast of a vehicle, we get a nice ride, all right? And then again, it's a freight liner, so we've got things like air brakes, We've got the Cummins engine with the Allison push button transmission. Um, it's nice because thing, you know, here's my turn signal lever. My gauges look like what I'm used to in my car. Um, there are some additional things on here. Uh, we of course give everyone full training on this. You know, we don't just turn you loose with something like this. You're trained inside, outside and things like this. We don't actually teach you to drive or anything, but we certainly teach you how to use everything up here. I like the fact that we have the nice, easy to use radio. We've got easy to use front dash and things like that. Um, exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, so I, I, I've kept you all in suspense long enough. Here's my favorite part. I just can't help it, you guys. I love that. We've never had a motor. 17 years in the business, I've never had a motorhome that did that. Love it, love it, love it. Now, let's go take a look at the bedroom and the bathroom. Hey guys, some of you know me, some of you don't. My name's Abby, I'm in charge of our TikTok here. If you don't already follow us, you should go look us up. I'm gonna show you guys the bedroom and the back bathroom of the 38MX. First, you have the king tilt of view bed. It inclines, it goes up, it goes down. Directly across, you'll find the TV. You have storage behind the TV. For anything you need to put in there, anything personable that you need to hide. You have tons of storage, you have 12 drawers. We have hanging storage for your coats, jackets, whatever you need to put in there. And then we have our pocket doors between the bedroom and the bathroom for your privacy. We have a big bathroom, tons of storage, a big sink, tons of counter space, which is super nice. Um, over here we have our porcelain foot flush commode, big shower, have a tankless water heater, and the shower miser, which Dave will go over more in another video. Thanks for watching and back to Dave. Well, there you go, guys, the 2023 Pasadena 38MX. At the time of this video, this is in stock here at Byerly RV in Eureka, Missouri. You can reach us at www.byerlyrv.com, 636-938-2000. We'll answer questions, make an appointment for a test drive, whatever you need to do. If you are out of town, we can send you more video, we can send you more pictures. Uh, the sales team will take very, very, very good care of you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.